Hi everyone, it's me again bringing you another 123loadboard.com video. Today's video will show you how to work with search results. Let's get started. Once you've logged into your account, you can search for loads by clicking the Carrier tab in the top menu. Once the page refreshes, you will see the search form to find loads. In this example, we will be searching for van and reefer loads from Houston, Texas to anywhere in the U.S. Once the search details are correctly entered, we can click the Search Now button to get results. As the page refreshes, you will see the available loads for the search we made. Now, let's begin understanding the page and general layout. In this area, you will see your search criteria neatly summarized, followed by a few links that allow you to save, create a new search, or even edit your current search. To the right, you will find a link for your saved and recent searches, along with another link to expand your search criteria. Right below the search criteria section, you will find the refresh results link that allows you to easily and quickly refresh the page to see your updated results. Let's now move on to the search results section. At the top of the results, you can see a total number of loads found along with the links to jump from one page to another. You also have the ability to show more loads per page with the drop-down provided. By default, we show 50 per page and allow you to show up to 250. Next, by using your mouse, you can easily sort any column by clicking the column header. Let's, for example, sort the Origin City column by clicking the column header once. You will notice that the results will get sorted and an arrow is displayed showing us what direction we have sorted. Clicking the column header a second time will sort the column in the exact opposite direction. Now, let's move on to the search results where you can see that we display a lot of information in every single row. From left to right, we have the origin city, state, and deadhead radius miles, followed by the destination city and state. The next column contains the pickup date and payment rate for the load. If the payment rate says to call, the broker or the shipper that have posted the load wants you to call them directly to negotiate the rate. The next column shows what type of equipment is needed to haul the load, in addition to the size and length. The next column gives us the distance in miles from the origin to the destination points, along with the weight of the load. Please note that the mileage displayed in all searches is provided by PC Miler. The next column is very important, as it tells you what company posted the load, along with the contact number you will need to call to book the load. The next column displays credit information including the company's credit rating, days to pay, and user rating. The last column shows us the age of the load posting. In other words, how many minutes or hours ago it was posted. Followed by if the company posting the load is a TIA member, and last but not least if the load has been pre-approved for fast pay by Freight Capital. Next, before we click a specific row to show additional information, we would like to point out that you can always hide rows by clicking the boxes corresponding to the load or loads you want to hide, then clicking the hide button provided here. As you can see, once we selected a few loads and click hide, the page refreshes without those loads showing. This is a great tool to remove loads that don't pay well or simply don't match your needs. Should you ever make a mistake, you can easily unhide the hidden loads by clicking the More Actions button and selecting Unhide All Loads. Once clicked, the page will refresh with all the loads shown including those that had been previously selected to hide. Now comes the fun part to view complete load details. In this example, we will click on the second load. As you can see, once we click on the row, a section expands giving us additional information on multiple tabs. Clicking on the row a second time will automatically hide the load information box. Let's now click the row again to expand the additional load information. Before we go into each section in more detail, I would like to draw your attention to the row we just clicked on, and you will see that the text font is no longer bolded compared to the other rows. In short, unread rows are bolded. This allows us to easily see what loads you viewed versus those you haven't. Now onto the load information box. The first tab gives us detailed information on the load, including the company name, contact, telephone, load reference number, quantity and number of additional stops, equipment type with specifications, 
and additional information in the extra info box. Also available on the first tab are links to edit your tag and to factor this load. The second tab is called Map. It provides members with accurate PC miler truck mileage, directions, total driving time, and toll costs relating to the loads we have open. To get turn-by-turn -turn directions, simply click on the button provided or anywhere on the map image provided. The Backhauls and More tab give members direct access to available backhauls. This is a great tool to see if anything is coming out of the drop-off city or surrounding areas. Clicking on any of these links will automatically perform the backhaul searches. Also on this tab you get links for road conditions, weather forecasts, fuel prices, and even fuel cost calculator. The fourth tab is called Bid and allows you to easily submit a bid to the company who posted the load. The last tab provides us with vital company information on the load poster including items such as the poster's company name, address, contact numbers, and FMCSA information. You also get links to their company profile, credit report, and website address if available. The right column allows us to quickly see the company's credit rating, credit report, and days to pay. You will also see the user's rating submitted by members just like you, along with a link to rate the company yourself, and even submit a review. Last but not least, you can see if the company posting the load is a TIA member, and if the company has been pre-approved for fast pay by Freight Capital. The buttons to the right of the load info box allows us to print the load details in full, and to hide the load or company from our results. Well, this ends our 123loadboard.com video on working with search results. I hope it was informative.